San Luis Obispo, I fell in love with this winery called Dunites. Dunites were a group of artists, mystics, philosophers that lived in the dunes 15 minutes south of San Luis Obispo during the Great Depression. They formed a self-governing utopia. They lived off the clams that prolifically scattered the beaches and the vegetables they grew in their garden plots. They would congregate regularly and share food and stories around the table. They called their utopia Moy Mel. It fortuitously happened that my pescatarian menu completely aligned with the seasonal produce and mollusks the Dunites ate. So join me as we had our little Moy Mel. The first course was surrounding broccoli. I made a broccoli puree soup and then I topped the soup with dehydrated pulp leftover from making broccoli flavored bread, broccoli flavored microgreens, lemon zest, and olive oil. The soup was accompanied with bread I made with the juice of broccoli and a concoction of creme fraiche, ocetra esturgeon caviar, and chives. The second course was carrot. I tossed arugula and shaved carrots in a pesto vinaigrette that I made with the leaves of the carrot. I garnished with pickled carrots, fresh dill, and mint. The pasta sauce was a spicy, creamy carrot puree. I garnished the pasta with more of the carrot top pesto and some dill. The third course was mollusks. I made a chawanmushi, which is a Japanese egg custard of part dashi and part egg. I filled it with mushrooms, sugar snap peas, and clams. For the scallops, I created a bed of shells and seaweed for the yuzu marmalade sauce and the seared scallops. I wanted to recreate the way that the Dunites ate the mollusks they found on the beach. The fourth course was juniper berries. Juniper berries give gin the distinctive peppery flavor. I made a granita with lemonade and juniper extract. I topped the granita with fresh berries and dried juniper berries, and then poured over gin at the table. The final course was matcha. This cake is my reinterpretation of tiramisu, but using matcha to soak the lady fingers and adding matcha into the cream. I garnished with fresh edible flowers and herbs, yielding a cake that tastes like spring grass in the best way. Thank you to my close friend Emily for capturing this event so beautifully on video and in colored film photography. To create this moimel with her was such a joy. And thank you as always to my sous chef Cole.